Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me this afternoon for a time of guided Lectio Divina. I will take just a minute for people to log on. My name is Kelly, and today we will be praying with today's Gospel reading. In preparation for this time of prayer, put yourself in a quiet space where you will not be disturbed. Grab your Bible if it is nearby, but no worries if not, the text will be visible on your screen. Sit in a comfortable position. Take time to quiet down, to become peaceful, receptive, and serene. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, you who are the Son of the living God, Teach me to listen to what you tell me in the Holy Scriptures and to discover your face there. Come, Holy Spirit. We ask for your presence and your guidance as we open the word. Our Mother Mary, we ask for your intercession as we strive to go closer, closer to your Son. Amen. There are four steps to Lectio Divina that we will go through with this, Bible, this gospel passage. The first step is Lectio. I will read this passage three times as part of this step. This is a special kind of listening and reading. You may want to read along as you listen for at least one of the three times. Listen attentively. Try to listen as if you have never heard this reading before. Open your heart to hear the word of God spoken to you. We'll be reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verses 37 through 41. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. Each time you read or listen, allow the word to enter more deeply into the depths of your being. If you wish, write down or underline words that strike you. Look for hot words. These are words that touch us effectively and elicit a response. Also look for those cold words 
words that make us want to distance ourselves from this communication of the word. I'll read it a second time. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, Inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. In this step of Lectio Divina, we are asking the question, what does the text say? We will read a final time. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms and behold, everything will be clean for you. We will now move to the second step of Lectio Divina. This step is meditatio, to meditate. Next, reflect on what the meaning of this word has spoken to you personally. What particular verse or word strikes you as you hear it spoken in your heart? Why? How are you challenged by the values which underlie the actions, words, the persons in this text? Whom do you identify with? What is the passage? What is the message of this passage for you today? Think deeply about this passage. Wonder about it. Ponder it. Apply it to your life. Imagine yourself living it. 
sum up the obstacles that you see to living it. The question that we are asking in this step is what does the text say to me? Next, we move to the step oratio, which is to pray. This is the prayer, the conversation that comes from the meditation. Take this time to speak with God, with Mary, or with the saints about this word and yourself. Respond authentically and spontaneously to the insights you have received. As in a conversation with a dear friend. Beg for the gift of God to be poured into every level of your being. To heal and to transform. To make it possible for me to live into this word. This oratio can also express itself in a prayer for forgiveness or an intercession for someone else. The question we are asking here is, what do I have to say in response to this word? Begin to wrap up this conversation with God as we move to the next step.
We have now reached the final step, contemplatio. Here we rest in the word. We contemplate him who speaks to us on every page of the Bible, Jesus, son of the father and giver of the spirit. Contemplation is adoration, praise, and silence before him who is the object of prayer. Christ the Lord, conqueror of death, revealer of the Father, mediator of salvation, giver of the joy of the gospel. Contemplation involves remaining infatuated with the word. Sit quiet, comfortably, and relaxed. Resting within your longing and desire for God. Let any distractions pass through your mind, as they likely will and don't turn your focus towards them. Try to use a line from the text or the name of Jesus to refocus yourself if you begin to get distracted. In this time we receive, abide, love God and open the self to his love. Don't do anything to hasten this step or to bring it to a conclusion. Waste time with the one who loves me and has loved more than anyone has ever loved me. More than I love myself or any other. We will now close in prayer. Feel free to spend more time in contemplation on your own. Let us pray a glory be. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, a world without end, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. As we leave this time of prayer, we can take this scripture and continue to translate it into our lives, asking the questions. How can I respond? What is God motivating me to do? Where is he calling me to conversion? Thank you for joining me today. And if you enjoyed praying Lectio Divina here on Facebook Live, please let us know um, if you would like this to be more of a regular thing. And if you have any questions on Lectio Divina or would like to join any of the groups that we have that meet the parish, you can find information on the website. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you all.